everyone, welcome to this video about analysis of variance or ANOVA. At the end of the video, you can determine the data assumptions for analysis of variance, carry out ANOVA using SPSS, and interpret the result of the test. The one-way analysis of variance or ANOVA is used to determine whether there are any statistical significant differences between the means of two or more independent groups. For example, you could use a one-way ANOVA to understand whether exam performance differed based on test anxiety levels amongst students. Dividing students into three independent groups, okay, like uh, low, medium, and high stress students. We need to actually satisfy the following assumptions before we can use the ANOVA. First, the dependent variable should be measured at the interval or ratio level, like revision time, intelligence, exam performance, and weight. Assumption 2. The independent variable should consist of two or more categorical independent groups. Like for et our ethnicity, we have three groups. Physical activity level, four groups. Profession, five groups. Next assumption, there should be independence of observations, which means that there is no relationship between the observations in each group or between the groups themselves. Fourth assumption, there should be no significant outliers. Outliers are simply single data points within your data that do not follow the usual pattern. Fifth assumption, the dependent variable should be approximately normally distributed for each category of the independent variable. And the last assumption, there needs to be homogeneity of variances. In this example of our, of our research problem, we assume that all those assumptions were satisfied. So let's start. A psychologist wants to determine if socio-emotional well-being differs among participants when grouped according to civil status. For our hypothesis, the null is socio-emotional well-being do not differ among participants when grouped according to civil status. For our alternative, Social-emotional well-being differs among participants when grouped according to civil status. And our statement of the problem, it can be written like this. Is there a significant difference in the participants' social-emotional well-being when grouped according to civil status? And our formal uh, hypothesis for the null and alternative we start with, there is no significant difference in the participants' socio-emotional well-being when grouped according to civil status. The alternative is, there is a significant difference in the participants' socio-emotional well-being when grouped according to civil status. Okay, so let's have this example of uh, research data. So to organize our data, we need to actually do it in a Microsoft Excel or in our SPSS. So the first column will be for the civil status, and there are three status here. We need to use coding since uh, civil status is nominal. So we use one for single, two for married, and three for widowed. The second variable, which is our dependent variable, the socio-emotional well-being, this is in terms of a score. And this score actually can be measured 
using a standardized test in measuring socio-emotional well-being. And suppose these are the, the scores of these uh, 30 respondents. Okay, so we're going to treat this uh, data okay, uh, using SPSS and using the statistical test ANOVA. So I'm going to show you on how to, to treat this data and interpret it. Okay, so we proceed to, uh, to our Excel since uh, it's where we actually organize our data. So same here, we have the coding for the civil status and these are scores, the social-emotional well-being scores. So what we're going to do is we have to copy Okay, this data, so starting from this one here, you click that part and then you drag this. Okay, you right click on this part and then you copy and you transfer that to our SPSS. So in our SPSS, make sure that it's actually in the data view. You click on data view here, click on the first cell, you right click it and then you choose space and there it is our data so as you can see we have the default name for the first variable var1 var2 so we need to change that by clicking the variable view here okay so click here the variable view and then we are going to change the name so the first one is actually civil status and the second one is actually our social emotional well-being score okay or it can be well-being only and then the next thing is we are going to change or choose the measure level of measurement okay so for our civil status that's actually nominal that's why we have a coding a while ago and our social emotional well-being is in terms of score and score is actually interval or ratio in SPSS we call the interval and ratio as a scale. So you click on a scale here. And then the next thing is you need to change the values for civil status because it's nominal. So you have to check, click on this part here and there, there will be a value uh, dialog box here. The value one for civil status is actually single. You add, click add for the value two is actually married. So you click add here and the third one is actually we don't okay click on that and you click okay and that's it that's how to actually input our data in our spss so you click on data again and look okay the effect of those uh, things we did in the variable view and then you can also uh, view the value labels here for the civil status and you can also uncheck it to make it again numeric okay now we're going to uh, treat this one using ANOVA so these are the steps you have to click analyze here in the menu bar so click analyze and then you have to point to compare means and then you click on one way ANOVA here and the dialog box for one way ANOVA will appear you need to actually uh transfer some of the variables here in the dependent list box and in the factor. The dependent list box is actually our dependent variable. This is what we measured actually. So it's the social emotional well-being score. So you transfer that by clicking this uh, uh, arrow here. And then for our factor, uh, that's our grouping. It's according to civil status so click on civil status and click the arrow here for the factor and then you need to click options and then don't forget to click descriptive here so that you can see the means and the standard deviations you click on continue okay and that's it okay you can actually cl click on post hook okay and choose uh, a test here for the multiple comparisons Okay, and then you can also check on the level of significance. You can use 0 0.01 for the 1% level of significance. For 5%, uh, this is 0 0.05. So that's it. So for the post hoc analysis, uh, we, that will be for the other video, next video. We will make another video for that. So you click continue. 
and then you click OK and there's the output for our ANOVA. So this is the output for our ANOVA and we're going to uh, uh, organize and make a table okay, uh, ready for presentation in our manuscript. Okay, so this is actually the, the output okay, of the SPSS using ANOVA. So to make the table out of this output, you need to have a table with the following uh, columns here. We have the first column for civil status, second column for the mean, third column for the standard deviation, then the F ratio, that's the uh, computed value for ANOVA, we call it F, named after Fisher, Ronald Fisher. Then we have the column for p-value or the probability value and of course the last column will be the decision so where did we get this mean here so it's here you can actually round it off to two decimal places and then for our standard deviation you may round it off to uh, four or maybe three standard uh, i'm sorry three decimal places and the f ratio or the computed value for for this is actually the F here, it's 23.228 and the probability value is actually the value below the word SIG here, okay, so it's actually 0 0.000 and how to make a decision? So since the probability value is actually less than, okay, our uh, 0 0.05, you know, level of significance, we need to reject HO. Okay, so that's how to actually make a table out of the uh, SPSS output here. And we need to actually interpret the table. So first, we need to uh, write a title for the table. It can be like this. Table 1, significant difference in the socio-emotional well-being okay, among participants when grouped according to civil status. So this is our table. And to actually interpret it in APA format, it can be like this. There is a statistically significant difference among groups as determined by one-way ANOVA. And then you have here the F, and then these are the degrees of freedom between and within. This is the computed value, and this is the probability value. Another way of interpreting the table is this. As revealed in Table 1, the computed value F is equal to 23.228 and the probability value P equal to uh, 0, 0.00. This is less than 0 0.05 level of significance indicate that there is significant difference in the participants socio-emotional well-being when grouped according to civil status. If you want to actually further analyze okay, the comparisons okay, be between or among okay, those uh, groups you know, uh, according to civil status, we need to do a post hoc analysis. And that will be for the that will be actually featured in another video. So that's it for our ANOVA. This is Roldan Jos Mabalo. See you in my next video. Bye!